Bienvenidos a Texas. We are on the way to get some coffee because I am having withdrawal headaches and Sarah is very generous, very generous partner. So, um, yeah, looking forward to spending the weekend out here and, and spending some good time with Sarah's family. So, woo! Balmy, 82 degrees in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Not exactly the best coffee in the world at uh, America's Best Coffee and Donuts, but it'll have to do. <laughs> are we going? Yeah, we are. So, Sarah and I were talking a minute ago about just the craziness that is uh, YouTube sometimes because like you make a video and you don't put any effort into it and it goes really big or you're really lazy about it and it goes really big or you put a lot of effort into a video and it doesn't go anywhere and, and what's really funny about that is I made a video a couple of weeks ago now about Sony's new at the time lenses the 100 millimeter uh, f2.8 STF lens the uh, 85 f1.8 and like I really am not proud of that video but it's also gotten like 4740 odd views as a current check and I made a couple of videos a lot of the videos that I've made more recently I've put a lot more effort into and they've not seen at all the same response and then I go and I make a couple of videos that are all just like, okay, I'm just going to try to get back to this. I'm just making a video, not putting too much effort into it. And they've got a couple hundred views. And it's funny because what I'm learning is so much of, so much of it is, is content specific. It's not like there are very few viewers that are coming to watch me. They're coming to watch my take on a particular thing. And so, as much as vlogging is appealing to myself and to others, it also doesn't seem like it's necessarily the greatest way to go about trying to build a YouTube channel. Because you gotta, you gotta get people who, you gotta get people attracted to your voice and to the way that you present yourself and the way that you think about the world and your opinions and who you are before you can really actually execute against a vlog effectively unless you're living a fantastical lifestyle that allows you to do things that everybody's going to be interested in regardless. And that's just been really interesting learning because I can and you can make YouTube content at home about stuff that you're interested in, about industries that you're interested in, and get people watching and get hundreds and thousands of views, maybe not hundreds of thousands, but hundreds and thousands of views on content that you're interested in their being in the world that doesn't exist currently or about a product that you're really interested in that you think someone else might be in. I'd really recommend and really encourage you to go out and to make that content because people will come to watch it. We're stoked! I've been making a lot of content lately about specifications and and one of the things that I just remember having heard quite a few creators that I pay very close attention to say is it's not all about the specs, it's about the shooting experience that you have individually with that camera, with that lens, whatever it is. And I agree and I disagree with that. I agree, of course, because the user experience means so much, but I also feel like I also feel like you gotta make choices on the gear that you can get that will have the best possible, uh, the most possible options for everything that you wanna be shooting going forward. So like my Alpha 6300 is a great example of that. I can bake in color through a color, through a picture profile that gives me what I consider to be better uh, baked in color than I get out of my Canon. And it's more clear, it's richer, it's deeper, it's more, it's a better gradient. 
across it's deeper uh, uh, bit depth in terms of that color and so my argument is not you know pay no attention to the specs or pay no attention to the way it feels in your hand and how, how you enjoy shooting it but it's pay attention to how many options a, per, a particular camera or device gives you to customize it to what you want because even if it doesn't do it just the way you want right out of the box it, you might be able to configure it to be able to do that and, and i think sony is the master right now of being able to configure that device to be able to shoot just the way that you want to and that's why i'm so particularly attached to sony at the moment so that's just a random thought that i had exporting dpho project it is very very big and it's taking a very very long time one hour ten minutes on this hour and forty minute file so yay that's weird that's weird how was I post to know <laughs> waiting and waiting for you to get your sleepy and focus We've been talking just a touch about going to Rockler, which is the local um, joint of the national chain that sells specifically woodworking stuff. And it's been a while since I've been in the shop, and that's something I've been interested in, in doing just a little bit more of. And that's where we get all of our great bull blanks. And so um, that might be something we're interested in because Sarah and I both just love turning bulls on the lathe because that's just such a fun thing to do and such a fun skill to have because you get to be really creative and really art, artful and also um, it, it's a lot easier to create a much higher quality piece of, of uh, just a much higher quality piece and much a piece with a, a lot greater degree of craft in it on the lathe in my opinion than uh, with something like fine furniture. Last night I did some uh, photo editing while I was exporting some of my DiPietro project and I want to show you some of those pictures here in a minute. Um, but I, I worked for about an hour and I got a whole bunch of stuff gone through and I ended up realizing that I took I took like 500 pictures yesterday of, of uh, Phillips' dogs just running around and having a good time. and that's fun but it's also like now I gotta delete a bunch of those and I gotta go through all of them to find out which ones I can delete so that's gonna be an adventure for maybe this afternoon but hopefully another time <laughs> Sunday fun day waiting for people to uh, get out of church I am ready to go to lunch that's plan as soon as they're done. So I think it's gonna be a good taco shack or taco taco place and it sounds like fun. So um, I got a bowl turned yesterday. I'm really excited about that. I wanna talk a little bit more about that. And Sarah's got some turning she wants to do and um, she's been making some really cool art. And I've been working really hard on getting some photos edited and some video exported. And it's been a really good weekend so far in the weather down here is just fantastic it's just absolutely beautiful so it's been really comfortable both inside and out so I'm looking forward to this weather coming to visit us in uh, at home so yeah what's going on we're about to have lunch at Fuzzy's tacos do we like these tacos 
Yes, we really like Fuzzy's tacos. It's gonna be good. We're good. So I'm presently working on some videos for a commercial project that um, I'm involved in, which is really exciting. I'm really happy to, to be working on them. It's funny though, because my computer's been crashing a whole bunch. It's been really hindering getting this stuff out because there's so much data. Um, but uh, I, I had the first of many of these little short videos done, and I, I'm coming back into the project to work on them and that first one's gone so i had to completely redo all that and it's like oh my god and you know i just there's so many people that are like oh i would love to be in a creative field and being in a creative field would be awesome and i wish i could be a photographer or a videographer full-time i wish that could be my day job and, and you know i get it I, I get so much of that like this last week i haven't been at work i quit my job to pursue other opportunities and so I've been doing a lot of creative work and it's been great, but at the same time, like the, the struggles are very different because when the computer crashed when I was at my previous job, I was like, who cares, whatever. If the computer crashes now, it's a big deal because that's, I mean, if this machine fails, it's all on me and I still gotta be able to get that out. You know, it's like, you don't think about all the ramifications and and if you're thinking about pursuing a creative field, I'd say think very carefully and think very long and hard about it because there's a lot of stress involved that has nothing to do with your ability to capture an image, be it still or video. Um, and there's just so much more that goes into it. So um, that's kind of what I've been thinking a little bit about lately. And so I just wanted to share that. I hope that was valuable to you. If it was, drop a like on the video. I appreciate it. I guess I'm gonna go inside now. We're doing dinner soon, so. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time and for your attention. I really appreciate that you spent your time to watch this video of mine. I really hope that you got something out of it. I hope that I've been able to provide value to you in some way. Please like this video, please share it. Please check out my Patreon page and, and donate if, if you're interested or willing to. Um, of course, don't if you're not. Um, and please, please leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking, what I could do to improve, what you think is good, what's bad. I'd love to have that conversation with you. Um, I so much appreciate, I, like I said before, I so much appreciate your attention. And I hope to keep bringing you great content going forward. I haven't been doing vlogs a lot lately and, and I've been suffering for it myself and I've, I really hope that this has brought value to you. So, oh, and don't hesitate to subscribe. So thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one.